Hi, hello, welcome back to Dr. Zakir Math. Today we are going to solve exercise P4. In this video, I'll focus on factor problems. What do you mean by factor in Arabic is, I think, Awamil. Am I right? This is what Awamil writes. And common factor. The next English word I'm going to teach you is common factor. This is an Arabic word. It's not an English word. Keep in your mind. And the next is Amal Mushtarak, right? Amal Mushtarak. This is the Arabic word for the English word is common factor, right? So this exercise, I'm going to teach you factor and common factor. Okay, right. And then difference of squares. You know difference of squares? Last exercise, our last videos, we studied this rule. Difference of squares. What is that? a minus b and a plus b is equal to what a square minus b square this is square this is square difference means minus difference of squares right and perfect square trinomials and factoring by grouping all these things we are going to do it let's get started and make your factor that's awamil simple and clear right let's go to the first question Factor out the common factor 2x cube minus 6x. 2x cube minus 6x. What is the question? Factor out the common factor. Factor out the common factor. So, factor we said Awamil. And common factor we said Amal Musharak. Okay, right. So, let us start this question. Look here all of you. I am going to write 2x x x 3x minus 6 i'm going to write 3 multiply 2 right and then x okay this is equal to now what i'm going to do i'm going to take amal mushtarak so this x and this x i'm taking as an x this 2 this 2 i'm taking as 2 right so what will be inside which is Inside the remaining one, we can say it as Baki. Okay, right. So we have x and x minus this 3 and x. Sorry, this 3 only. x already taken. Right. So this equals 2x multiply by x times x is what? x to the power of 2 minus 3. Very simple question. So 2x multiplied by x square minus 3. This is called factor and common factor. Right. Amal and Amal Mushtarak. Right. Let's go to the next question. The next question is factor and common factor. Right. So what is the question? 3x multiplied by x minus 5 plus 8 multiplied by x minus 5. Look here. There is x minus 5. There is x minus 5. So what I am going to do. Uh, what I am going to do. X minus 5. I am going to take Amal Mushtarak. So, what will be inside? 3x inside plus 8 is inside. This 3x is this one. This 8 is this one. Clear? Right. So, therefore, what is your answer? x minus 5 and 3x plus 8. Very simple. Right? Factor and common factor. Keep in your mind. Next, completely factor the difference of two squares. Very, very important question. This type of questions they will ask in the exams. Keep in your mind. Difference of two squares. When you read this word difference of two squares, you must remember A square minus B square. A square minus B square. Why it is called A square minus B square teacher? This is square. This is square. In between what? Minus. So this is called difference of two squares. Okay, right. So, what is a square minus b square? In the last video, I taught. If you did not watch, please go back to video and then watch it and come back here. It is a minus b times a plus b. Right. So, what's your question? x square minus 81. How can I write this as a square minus b square? x to the power of 2. 81, how can I write? Everybody knows 9 times 9 is what? 81. So, 9 square is what? 81. So, I am writing this is 9 square. So, what is in the place of A? It is X. What is in the place of B? It is 9. So, in the place of A, it is X. In the place of B, it is 9. So, it is equal to X minus 9 and X plus 9. That's it. 
very simple so these are all factors okay this is called what factors this is called factors right so here the question is what factor right let's go to the next question the same idea difference of two squares what do you mean by difference of two squares a square minus b square so what is a square minus b square it is a minus b times a plus b okay right so now the question is what 64 minus 9z square how can you write in a square 64 you can write it as 8 times 8 which is 8 square right so it is very clear 9z square how can i write in the square model 9 i can write 3 times 3 right and z i can write as zz so it is nothing but what if you want to write the whole square you will be writing what 3z the whole square right so i can write 3 i can write 3 like this so i can write 3z square let me write again 3z square you square it which is 3 square z square which is 9z square so which is same as this one so you can write this as 3z to the power of 2 okay right so this is of the model what a minus b times a plus b so what is in the place of a it is 8 what is in the place of b 3z so a minus b let, let me write this rule 8 minus 3z okay and 8 plus 3z that's it this is the factor this is called what factor already you studied in the school but we are starting in what english mode again i'm telling exam is going to be in what english so please learn everything in english so these words are very very important right let's go for the next question factor out the perfect square trinomial the question is what factor okay right so this equation already you studied in the school x square minus 4x plus 4 please take your calculator all of you please press mode press mode 5 mode 5 and then number 3 if you press number 3 it will ask a b c a is coefficient of x square a is what coefficient of x square what is b coefficient of x what is c number okay right now what is the coefficient of x 1 what is the coefficient of x sorry what's the coefficient of x square it is 1 what's the coefficient of x minus 4 and what is the number 4 so press everybody come on come on type so a is what 1 b is minus 4 and c is plus 4 now in the calculator a b c is asking right so press 1 and then press equal and then press minus 4 then press equal then press plus 4 then equal okay so if you press like this you will get the answer x is equal to 2 are you getting this answer yes look here the power is what 2 it has how many answers two answers every time you will get two answers but in the calculator it is giving x equals 2 it means x equals 2 is repeating two times okay so it's called as repeated root so writing like this in english we call it as solutions what is this called solution right now what we want the question the question is they are asking factor they are asking what factor factor means if it is plus 2 you write it as x minus 2 if it is plus 2 you write it as x minus 2 you write it as what x minus 2 if it is minus 2 write it as plus 2 so this is x minus 2 so this is repeated two times so x minus 2 x minus 2 is what x minus 2 power 2 so it is whole square clear all of you right let's go to the next question the same type of question factor out factor and it's a perfect square trinomial why it is trinomial three terms are there right yes so what is the question the question is 25z square minus 30z plus 9 okay take your calculator mode right 5 and then 3 you will get a b c what is your a 25 what's your b minus 30 what's your c 9 come on type 25 and then minus 30 and then press 9 so you will get 
x equals 3 over 5. Again, only one answer I am getting 3 over 5, right? The power is 2, so it has two answers, right? So it means x is repeated twice. It's a repeated root. x equals 3 by 5 and x equals 3 by 5, okay? Right. So before, see the question. We got only one number and which is not a fraction, which is 2 and 2. So I wrote it as x minus 2, x minus 2. But now you are getting a fraction. When you are getting a fraction, come from down, again come from down. If the numerator is plus, you write it as 5x minus 3. It is not x, it is z. Okay. Then again from come from down, 5 is z minus 3. Suppose, for example, you have minus 3 over 5. You have to write 5x and then if you come here, it you become as plus. So, 5x plus 3, you have to write it. Okay. Actually, I should not write here z x because the equation is in terms of z. So, you have to write z. But for you, no problem. You are in the prep here. So, nothing wrong in that. So, now 5z minus 3, 5z minus 3. So, you will get what? 5z minus 3, the whole power 2. So, this is your answer. Clear, everybody? Right. Let's go to the next question. Factor the trinomial, right? So, the question is x square plus x minus 2. So, go to mode. Yes. And then 5, then 3. You will get a, b, c. 1, 1 minus 2 press 1 and then again 1 again minus 2 so let me do it again for you so 1 it's 1 and then minus 2 if you do like this i will get two answer x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to minus 2 i told you already this is power 2 how many answers will be there two answers right so what are the answers you have x equals 1 and x equals minus 2 so this is called what solution now we are going to write what factor so if you want to write factor how we are going to write it take this one this side so it will be x minus 1 here already minus so you will write what x plus 2 so this is called factor if you write in terms of x it is called factor if you write x is equal to then it is a solution right let's go to the next question Again, factor, which is 3x square plus 10x minus 8. Go to mode and then 5, then 3. Right. You will get a, b, c. And a is 3, b is 10 and c is minus 8. Okay. Right. Come on, press 3. Let me do also 3 and then 10 and then minus 8. Press equal, everybody. So, you got x1 equals, let me write here directly, x equals, okay, which is 2 over 3, 2 over 3 and next answer is x equals minus 4, okay, right. So, this is called what? Solution and when you want to write a factor, this will be what? x plus 4. How you are going to write this one? Come from the down, right? 3x here it is plus is there, so you put minus 3x minus 2. So this is going to become your what? Factor. The first one which you are getting the calculator is called solution. And this is called what? Factor. Okay. Right. So let's go to the next question. Factor by grouping. Listen the word. There is a word grouping. If there is a grouping word is there, you should not use calculator. Keep in your mind. Don't use calculator. When you have grouping word, you must do manually. Okay, right. So, let me start this question. The question is x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2. So, look here. I am going to group in this way. I am going to group this two together. So, look here. This one. This is x, x, x. Okay, without bracket I will write. x, x, x. And this is x, x. Because 3 times, 2 times. Okay. Let me do first this one. So now from this, I'm going to take Amal Musharak, which is common factor. So this one, this one, I take out. This one and this one, I take out. What is remaining Baki? You will get here x minus 1. Right? So let me go this side. What is that? What will happen? Here, I can take Amal Musharak as what? 2. 
what is remaining x minus 1 okay so here plus 2 x minus 1 now this is x x is what x square x minus 1 plus and this one is what 2 times x minus 1 now you look at here completely what is Amal Musharak here this one is an Amal Musharak this one is the Amal Musharak which is common factor right so I'll take this x minus 1 outside so what is inside inside is x square you have and plus and here what is there it is 2 so your answer is x minus 1 times x square plus 2 so this is going to become your answer very very simple okay right next also we'll go here also the question is what by grouping factor by grouping so whenever the question is by grouping you should not use calculator okay so let me start this one 6x square plus x minus 2 but you can check your answers but you are not supposed to do right so whenever there is a number 6 or 2 or 3 other than 1 just take this number and multiply with this number we get what minus 12 now think two numbers you should get plus 1 and you should get minus 12 when you multiply so the best example is what 4 times 3 is 12 right and I want to get plus 1 so what I will do I give plus here I'll give minus here so I got two numbers so I'm going to write here 6x square right and then plus plus sorry let me change the color and then plus 4x and then minus 3x and then minus 2 okay right now what I'm going to do I'm going to do first grouping with this two then I'm going to do the grouping with this two right how are you going to do with the grouping with this two now look here win this I can write 6 as 3 times 2 right and then x x plus 4 I can write as 2 times 2 and then x so this is one side you keep one bracket don't touch it and another side is this one so I all put it in the bracket this one right what can I do here here I don't have any common numbers I don't have any x also only I have minus as common factor if I take minus as common factor inside will be what 3x but then plus 2 check whether it's correct or not minus into plus is minus minus into plus is what minus okay right so what I can take from this one from this one I can take this 2 I can take this 2 1 2 will be out I can take this x I can take this x 1 x will be out so I open the brackets so baki which is 3 baki here 3 x and then baki here plus 2 right baki means remaining okay then bracket open 3x plus 2. Now you look here whole thing. If you look here the whole thing you can see Amal Mosharak here common factor 3x plus 2 and common factor here 3x plus 2. So I am going to take 3x plus 2 common factor is out. Okay. So what will be inside? Here inside it will be 2x and here all the things gone so minus 1. So what is your answer? Your answer is 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1. So this is your answer. Clear all of you? Clear everybody? Right. So this is all by grouping. So I think this is the last question if I'm not mistaken. Right. So this finishes your exercise P5 or P4. P4. Right. So this finishes your P4. Okay. Right, that's it for today's P4 exercise. I hope you found these solutions easy to follow. Keep practicing these techniques and factoring will become much simpler for you. If you really enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check the description for more practice materials and the notes and previous videos. See you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.